That is the danger. That was so Radiance close. That's what these branches top. are for, ladies and gentlemen. Attack. Every little stack gonna count. Goodness gracious. Time to tango back up and go for a second volley, though, pretty soon, right? Especially when they hit level two, as Soxa will obviously uh, double in strength. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold, hold the heck on. <laughs> what? Nine? He, he got bushwhacked. He got bushwhacked. You know, sometimes. You just, Yo, you just get because otherwise didn't have an out. But you can see that constant pressure going on in Abed, dropping down low again, dodges the remnants, more deeps coming through, the taunt's there, and Nine gonna have to let him go, but 10 and two versus 10 and five. Meanwhile, goes on in for the finish. Fly will drop. This is an action-packed early game. <laughs> yeah, certainly is. Sox now running for a, a suicide to the neutrals by the looks of it as well, because as a support, you just want to utilize all your resources as fast as possible, and then just get back with, with Fulton. Does Dazzle know? Does he TP to there? Hey, actually, his courier is there. Oh, 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 I can't see it on the ward. That would have been so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> that would have been wild. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so if you do it to the neutrals, the timer's way longer. So instead, he does it to the tower. So you know they're going to share the bounty. He waited one of these runes into play off of them. I imagine nine is in a very similar boat, right? Yeah, he's got to be. Rune, it's down bottom, a DD. Oh, this is murder if they can get there in time. It's max damage, 550. Nine trying to run over. Is he going to be able to get there? Looks forward. The bushwhack onto both. The big old hit comes through. So they will take snaking, but Nine will get his due. All right. As the chase comes out, double for the hoodwink. All right. So what was so important there is that snaking waited until Nine was coming because he stunned the Void Spirit when he did the acorn shot, right? Game one. But likewise. They are going to make another rotation and try and find a little bit of a punish here onto the Dawnbreaker. Does he get the hammer away? He does. Okay, now oh. the turn onto Grit. Finds the stun. Another soul assumption in a second, but the grave is already out. Arteezy moves on in. Crit will actually hide away in the fog. 3-3 three, three goes all the way, and he's going to come up with a rebound away. 3-3, three, three, he can't find him. Oh, Crit. How are you going to do that to him? Oh, we got great plays happening all over the map right now. It's uh, unfortunately not a great play to ward on top of the enemy observer. So now we'll get... And a smoke up now as they will attempt to make a play happen up on the top side here. Find Nightfall. All right, we got Tangos on Nightfall. Maybe he gets a sick cut on the tree. He's trying to wait. Oh, it's... Uh, <gasps> They're it's all amazing. together. Nine, he gets there just a second too late. And now Taunted now jumped on. Glass Cannon done. And the rest of Tundra might be soon to follow. A double for Abed. Crit lives through all of it. Oh my god. That was really nice. They've done a great job of controlling that vision with all the sentries around. For here. Razor now also. You know what else I like is Soxa considering the Orchid first. We'll see if he actually winds up with it. I don't think it's necessarily going to be the, the, play, the way to play it, but it could be a good way to punish this. Uh, up this top, they're spirit. going on him. Crit goes for the initial jump. Abed in has already used one of his leaps, but the Glyphne are going to connect. They find him. Oh, good tree cut by Abed. The break, though, and the rundown doesn't have anywhere else to go. So it was a good quelling blade, but they bring overwhelming numbers on Tundra. Yeah, and he's the hero they can consistently target because he's not going for the BKB. Low cost threat to just rebound someone in like that, too. Or rebound someone away oh, like that. Oh, Tundra, too, you're crazy. Tundra, that is a little bit insane. Silences Roche, runs in. Uh, Arteezy completely alone. He backs away now, and Marcy dropped down very low. Abed does manage to find a couple kills. With two dead for one, they found the Hoodwink, and that is what they needed. But Arteezy will be pulled back in, and now soon to be brought down. Even though he's in biz, they find a triple kill on Skinner, looking for more. Nightfall also goes down. I, I don't know what exactly happened there. I mean, the Hoodwink died, but the buyback was important. Well, it had pretty good vision. They get out on Soxa on the Dawnbreaker. And Tundra have completely turned it around this game number two. They just find a random stun on a Nightfall. Three threes there. Link up. Looking for a chase down, but I don't know if they have enough damage for him. Instead, they turn their sights on the fly. Dies before Grave can come out. Now pulls back in. The Void Spirit, the Bloodthorn is strong. Four are dead. Tundra putting out a statement here.
I feel like this is one of these games where I'm finally seeing like the, the raw power of Razor, you know? Oh, yeah. It came out. It looks good. Skitter had an excellent game. He got a little bit of extra scaling compared to most of the Razors that we've run into uh, by I'm, getting this Mask of Madness. And Tundra, I mean, they're saying go in for Tier 4 Towers. Buy back if you dare. They still have that Aegis. 30 seconds left on Razor, feared by the DP. Turned now on to 33. Aegis expiring, but not before too long. And they turn their sights, find Abed, get the kill there. I think that's it. It must not Nightfall can do a miracle, and he will fall. GG is called. Who freaking needs to go late game? Tundra takes it. And I got to give some appreciation to Nine as well by skipping over that beacon. Coming up next, Royal Never Give Up versus OG.